Okay, if you're thinking, why is this place a mess? I just took these off this wall, okay? I thought I could be sneaky. No, I got a bunch of shit to deal with now. Fudge. Okay. Okay, I'm showing you how I'm lifting up this wall. I did it over here and I did it over here. Well, going to. You take a jack haul and then you just lift it up. The video I took there, I don't know how well it picked it up, but it sure lifted up nicely, didn't it? And uh, this wall is just, just put it down like that. And then the choopy poppy munan, yo, not choo poppy munan, no. Right? Like this, what I just did there with the jackal, that's a choo poppy munan, no. But uh, pretty dangerous, because that jack could have fell and I could have got my arm caught underneath there. But hey, I have to do it the stupid way, of course. Well, I'm gonna hopefully not have to haul the shies out. But I'll get these twines out. Ah, I don't think I'll need to have to haul the twine much, but, but I hope not. <laughs> Okay, here's my music theory. This board is pretty rotten down at the bottom here, as you can see. I mean, it's not bad, it's just, I mean, it, it dry out, eh? But, I mean, I have four more of those, so if I do two, and then four. Yes, very nice. So, I'll just have the three old ones, and then the four new ones, six, six new ones on the bottom. So I think I might just chew go along with that. Getting her torqued. There you go. Here's a bunch of Honolulu wood here. Oh boy. Full full truck box full of it. It's just junk. Look at this. Just pure crap. We just gotta take an environment for it. Getting it repainted here and uh doing some rust work on it. Excited for that. Don't even tell anymore.
Hulk Hogan's belt away. On the fence here. And here's the finished product. Sure looks good, eh? Added two more up top here. Used to come up to here, now it comes up to here. Then I replaced this bottom one and this bottom one. This one is already dried out. See, it's still good. For another two years. <laughs> then I replaced these three. And I got everything all level now. This is nice. That's nice. And then I, we completely just said, you know what, we're doing it. Let's do it right. And, and we uh, broke the budget, but it looks really good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yes, you are neutral tongue to lock by. That calf is a pain in my ass. I'll show you a neutral tongue to lock by in Huey Lewis. I just bought him here a week ago. Oh, that's Jed and Stogie over there. This one's neutral tongue to lock by. He, uh, he's a good calf, he's like, Four weeks old on the 9th of August. And uh, I, he eats off that feeder there and I was feeding my uh, younger one there, my other Holstein. Well, this one actually is a uh, beef cross. But the other, my Holstein I have inside the barn there, I guess right now, feeding him. And this guy just literally just drank the bottle in five seconds. Yeah, there's Huey Lewis. Hi, Huey Lewis. Yes, you are Huey Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. He's got my roosters. They get the whole pen and I just open up the gate there and shuffle this forward and I shuffle this forward and then I <laughs> right down the alley and they all go outside. And I lock my hands in here and they were happy campers. He doesn't like going outside because he's still not used to making this jump. Like, it's kind of intimidating for these new calves as they come in the barn. I could save myself and the calf some hassle if I just built up the dirt more because it used to be right up to the door, but uh, erosion happened. Yes, and uh, erosion happened and it's no longer as tall. It's just hard as rock now. Anyways, I'm gonna get to pressure washing the side of this barn off because uh, it's gonna, these buildings are gonna see their first coat of paint since uh, the big ones, or the shack and the shack and the barn, they're gonna see their first coat of paint since 1979. And then this barn is gonna see its first coat since 1985. Here comes the new uh, Charlay's coming around the corner. That one on the left there with the white face, she's getting really close to calving. She'll be calving here in about two weeks. And then the one there with the all white, or an all tan face, she's calving in about two weeks. And then that uh, nice white, white Charlotte in the back there, she, uh, she won't be calving until late September, I think. But she's a first calving heifer, so. And then those other ones are second calvers. And then we had a, we bought another uh, red Angus there. She's a nice looking cow. And she had this red Angus calf here. And boy, he grows fast. That uh, black Angus and that red Angus were born on the same week. And look how much bigger the red Angus is. And he looks way much better too. These guys, these black Anguses, they're really spooky. That's the only thing I don't like about them. But you know, but he grows really good. I'm trying to convince my dad to go for a red Angus bull next time we're getting more, or when we get a new bull. I'm trying to convince him. Oh, hey, man. Is that a new calf? Hold on. It was actually this calf and another two that completely obliterated this fence before I brought this shed in. 
the pattern needs to come down all the way to the barn but uh, they kind of boot fucked it and liberated all three boards eh I was shocked and they were ripping around in here and but I just kind of did it half ass cause, I mean as long as they don't get out so you know it's kind of mad because I spent so much time getting all these boards straight if you go back to that video where I showed my calves in the wintertime, my previous batch, you can see how ranky this fence was. It had a bunch of wire on it. And, but I took all those old boards off and used most of them up. And then I, I made the pattern nicely. And then I even got some new boards. <laughs> and then I replaced a bunch on this fence. Down there. And, and down there I did lots. And down there I did lots. And... Like I say, I did all that this spring. I did a lot of fencing. I'm sure looking good now. Here's another fence I did this uh, spring. I like how it looks. It, it looks like it's been through a couple battles, which has. Yeah, actually, those are the same two calves that busted that fence. What happened was he got in that pen, and I was trying to get him out through the gate, and the stupid bugger busted the fence. And then he, of course, decided to run in there, and then I had a bunch of calves going in there. And uh, it was a, oh, and I also did this fence here. 